In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing the configuration steps to getting PC Call Station configuration client and server to directly connect up with a SIP server. The first step in this is going to be to open up PC Call Station configuration client. From there, we're just going to check off login. Uh, we're not going to check off work offline or enter in any passwords. Once PC Call Station configuration file is open, we'll go ahead and, and configure up our network controllers. The first step is going to be to enter in our network controller name, the host address, which is the IP address of the network controller, and the username and password that we use to log in uh, during uh, normal configuration. Once you've logged in, uh, we can click off Get Configuration. What that's going to do is it's going to pull in all the information existing in the NCO. Uh, that includes zone information, messages, tones, anything that you might have programmed in the past. Go ahead and click Accept. And the next step we're going to move down is to configure predefined calls. This is where we can define a set of commands that somebody on the phone could use while calling into the system. We're going to do an example one here of TI all call, which is basically our telephone interface all call. We're going to check off use for TI and we're going to give it a numerical alias. That numerical alias is what the user will enter in on the phone to call up this predefined call. We're going to go ahead and check off live speech and the audio input. Now this is the input from the computer to the analog input on the NCO. We're going to choose AI4 in this example. As far as zones, since it is an all call and it's defined as an all call, we're going to enter in some zones here. I've entered in uh, NCO1 group 99, which happens to be the all call group for that NCO. After that, click OK. And we'll move down to PC Call Station Telephone Interface Client. Basically, right here, you're going to want to enter in, enter in the extension that uh, the users are going to hit while on the telephone system. So right now, I'm putting an extension 1111. And that will be the extension that they will dial in order to get into this system. The aliases for the zones are for non-group oriented pages. Since ours is an all call, I won't need this, but if somebody was to want to enter in specific zones, they could use these numerical aliases uh, during the page process. You want to make sure that United States is checked and then move on to the next step, which is PC call station telephone interface client users. These are individuals that are calling into the system to make pages. Uh, the system can differentiate between different call-ins using a personal number or an, basically a login name and a pin code which is basically their password. Uh, for this example I'm just using 1234 and pin code 123 and 4. I can also limit what predefined calls that specific user has access to. For this example, we're using all call. So right now, user 1234 will only have access to 123 and 4. The next step is to configure SIP uh, information. Uh, SIP username. Now, this isn't critical as far as what you put in here. It just has to match what you put in later on. So for this, we're going to put in PRS, and we're going to give it a, a password of just admin. You want to make sure that everything matches here. Now this is the only really critical step to get this thing working while well, everything's critical, but uh, if this doesn't match, you won't get anything to register. The direct access box, uh, if you check that off and give it a TI user, it's going to assume that that specific user is calling in every time. Therefore, it's not going to ask your users to enter in a username and password. The next step is entering the license key. Since this is registered software, we'll need to enter in a registration code. Registration codes can be acquired from our website at license.boshsecurity.com. Here I have a license code that's registered for this specific server and has access to the 
telephone interface client. Once I hit OK, it'll let me know that I'm licensed for PC call station telephone interface client. You want to go to file after this and go to make active, which basically writes all this information to the server. It configures the asterisk server within the, uh, the computer itself and begins the licensing. There we go. We can see it's now licensed and connected. So now that this is connected, the next step is basically just to exit out and save your configuration file if you'd ever uh, need to make any changes to this. After this, we're going to move on to a, uh, an example I've got on my computer here, which is a, 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 actually a separate computer running a uh, Axon PBX server, which is a SIP server. I've got two phones that are pre-configured to uh, be working on, on, uh, on that PBX at the moment, and then we'll be adding in the PC call station server as an extension within that line. There we go, we're logged into our Axon PBX. We'll go ahead and open up the web control panel. And the first step we're gonna do here is I'm just going to enter in the SIP information for my PC call station server, and then we'll go ahead and watch that log in. There we go. Uh, I'll go ahead to extensions and groups, and here I can see I've got two phones, extension 101 and 102, that are currently uh, actual physical phones that I have here in my, uh, my demo lab and those are configured, they can call each other, they work just like regular phones. What we're interested here is external dialing and we're going to add an external line. When I click off external line, I'm gonna give it a name, I'm just gonna call it PRS or Presidio. There we go. And the device login and device password. Now these, these parts here need to match what we put in prior. We'll pull up a box here. What we put in prior in the PC call station configuration client. The server is going to be my IP address of the server. That's where the dongle is located, the licensing dongle. The SIP login and password are exactly what you put in to the PC call station configuration client. Those need to match. Another step, the final step, is actually to add a dialing rule. And for this, what we're going to do is we're going to add in anytime somebody dials extension 1111, we are going to force this PBX to uh, dial that, uh, that extension on an external line. We're going to have it dial on the Presidio line, which is that specific IP address of my server. Once I save my changes, I'll go ahead and pull up my log here and I'll go ahead and attempt to make a call to extension 1111. Since I have my PBX running live, I'm able to actually see my call go through to extension 1111. You'll notice that it's dialing out at 192.168.1.111, which is the IP address of the PC call station server. This should conclude all the configuration steps in configuring the two to talk directly to each other. If you need any additional assistance, feel free to call us up at the Technical Services Group at Bosch Security Systems. Thank you.